Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. It's the champ. Look at him. Look at him. Let's go champ. We out here champ. Let me get a let's go champ. Let's go champ. There you go. <laughs> Look at him. Champ. Shannon Briggs, let's go champ, comes clean and admits to knowingly ingesting a performance enhancing drug. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the notification gang, hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, the channel donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Right now, I'm on, the, on my website, BoxingEgo.com. We holding you down on the YouTube, on the, on the gram, on everything. So make sure you guys support, check out the website, and a ton of new articles. Shout out to my writer, Bakari, been holding the fort down. And there's an article he wrote, and it's, it's very interesting, to me at least. And I wanted to make the video a little bit sooner, but there's just a lot going on. So I'm just now getting to make the video. But Shannon Briggs, he did an interview with a lady named Cosby, and... Here's what he said. He said, I'll admit to that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I take full responsibility for what I did, and I'm looking forward to addressing it, not only in this conversation, but anytime it's asked. I did take a performance enhancing thing. And again, I apologize for those who feel that I hurt them, and I do. I do feel it because a lot of my fans, my friends, and followers were looking forward to me fighting and becoming heavyweight champion for the third time the first champion to do it in three different decades so again i feel sorrow for that and again i'm trying to make it better by staying focused coming back and letting people know that i was down but i'm not out and that's from shannon briggs and this is the fight that got canceled as a result of that failed drug test he was supposed to fight fresh oquindo for a title and i was just out in brooklyn i ran into shannon briggs you'll see the clip at the beginning of this video and we had a good time um We'll see what's next for Shannon Briggs, but I just had to make light. Also, right here is the link to the article and the interview in case you want to check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Here, It's right here if you click on it. But he did an interview with the Rita Cosby. Now, the other thing is Shannon Briggs also did another interview, and he's talking about fighting Alexander Povetkin in Russia. He says, obviously he's suspended right now. I think he has a six-month ban. Uh, Povetkin failed two drug tests in 2016. So he's already fought. I guess he's clear to fight, at least in Russia. And here's the video interview at the bottom where he's saying that I'm fighting Povetkin. They're trying to work on that fight. And he, again, he's taking full responsibility. Now, my thoughts real quick. Shannon Briggs, like I said, I met him. Cool dude. He has a good energy. It's unfortunate that he had something he was saying he's he's asthmatic. So as a result, uh, he's already at a disadvantage. So I, he didn't really, from what I heard, he didn't really state or declare what he what he took. But obviously the testosterone or whatever was was to help with his breathing. That's what he's alleging. Um, I guess if him, him and Povet can fight, I mean, they both got busted. So I, I think that would be solid. Uh, interesting fight. Povetkin, they're both strong, you know what I mean? So that'd be an interesting fight to see how it would play out once they're, or at least once Briggs' suspension is up. But I just wanted to talk about the news. The thing I do actually give Shannon Briggs not credit for cheating or doing something that you know is wrong, especially in a, like this is your opportunity to be the, the three time heavyweight champion in the world, like he said, over three, over the span of three different decades. So you got to be. You got to be easy with stuff like that. But the thing I do give him credit for is coming clean because I've been following boxing all of my life and I've been covering it for the last few years of my life. And I don't really recall many times where people, they get caught red handed, they get caught cheating and they take it to the grave with them. They'll never admit it. They never say like, oh, I did it. I'm sorry. I feel bad for my fans and friends. You know what I'm saying? So big up to Shannon Briggs, again, not for doing something he knew 
was against the rules and ordinances but just for admitting it because like i said i if you guys can tell me i don't remember the last big name fighter who got busted and, and there's been a lot of people who've been busted and failed drug tests and they always deny it like oh i i ate the meat and it's, it's the horse meat and it's this and it's something's contaminated it's a messed up test you know what i mean i don't really remember a person who just said yeah that was me i mean I, and man up and and took it so um i give them credit for that people make mistakes in life and i mean you gotta deal with the repercussions for boxers i mean antonio margarito he had loaded gloves and he was able to fight pacquiao and get a big money fight so and rematch Cotto. so i mean they usually just have to serve a suspension and that's what it is there's no governing body that bans you for life really you know what i mean like all these guys there's many people who fail drug tests and compete to this day let me know what you guys think i wanted to give my thoughts and just the update because i haven't really heard many people talk about the Briggs issue and a lot of people are unaware of it so he's talking about fighting povetkin and he's admitted to taking something he didn't really go into detail let me know your thoughts what's next what's the next big heavyweight fight obviously vladimir klitschko shook things up by retiring let me know what you want to see next what do you think of Povetkin versus Briggs? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.